How are we doing this? This is, yeah, we're just. No, we can't both have our arms around each other. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. That's good. No, go back on the chair like that. <laughs> Do you like that? No. <laughs> okay, then put it back. Like this? Yeah, that's fine. No. <laughs> we first met when was in sixth grade. And so I walk in, and I'm, it's the first time I've ever moved to a new school, middle of the year, all new people. And then she sits me down at this table and I'm next to Cody. And so he was like the first person I met at this new school. And he was really nice and goofy and funny. So basically the same that he is now, but in sixth grade version. And uh, he was my first friend when I moved to that school. So that's how we met. Just everything I can remember back to, Hannah was there. Any any significant memory. Back then she was, um, you know, opinionated, loud, but in a good way. <laughs> like, uh, she she was always the one that would speak up for me when, when I'm the, qu the quieter of the two of us, you know. Back then he was very charming, of course, and I found out that half the girls already had a crush on him. Uh, which was, you know, I was uninterested at that point. I was not thinking that way. At that point, I didn't like him like that. I just thought he was a really, really good guy friend. But uh, I guess I was late to the game on that. We stayed best friends all through the years. Cody 100% made the first move. He had come to every single one of my basketball games, including the away ones. He was always there. And I didn't think much of it until one day he was talking to me and he had just bought me a snack. I vividly remember that. And he said, you know, you, you should probably watch out because I'm gonna make you fall in love with me. And my first reaction was to laugh at this and say, you're ridiculous and annoying, but that's funny. And so I brushed it off and I was like, okay, I gotta go play. Did she tell you about the time that I told her she was gonna fall in love with me? Yes, she did. Yeah, we were always best friends and uh, we'd always hung out together, but it was Valentine's Day of senior year that um, neither of us had, had dates or anything and I was like, hey, let's go to dinner for, for Valentine's Day. And uh, that was basically our first date and I didn't even know it. And I got all dressed up and it was a fantastic time. And we went and got, we went to the Cheesecake Factory, which is, you know, just the nicest place in Shreveport. So that was great. And uh, we had the best time. We talked all night, we joked the entire time. And that was the first time where I was like, oh no, <laughs> this is very real, so. I've always loved Hannah, you know, and um, it wasn't specifically anything that clicked for me, you know, it was just that, I may have just realized that it was, it's was it been Hannah all along. It went from such a change, we were best friends for so long and then changing into a romantic relationship. I think the best part was that we never stopped being best friends. I never realized how much I could love my best friend. Through dating though for so long as we did, um, we, we both changed through the years and we've gotten to change together. And that's been a really cool opportunity. No one really gets to see you you grow into the person that you are whenever you date later in life. Um, but that's something that Hannah and I got the opportunity to do because I got to see her grow into the person that she is now and the people that get to meet her now, I got to see her become that. And that uh, is something that was really, really cool for me to see. There was a point where I realized how far God had fallen out of my life. Um, because I had lost church and I'd lost sight of what was important. And I actually had to tell Cody that we needed to take a break because I desperately needed to realign myself with what God needed from me and what he wanted for my life. While it was one of the hardest memories of our relationship, it was also one of my favorites because when I came to him and told him that I was gonna break up with him, he looked at me and said, these words, if you feel that God is trying to get you to end things with us, then that's what I want you to do because that has to take priority. And at first I was actually really upset by that response because it would have been so much easier if he had just been mean about it and I could have broken up with him and moved on. Um, but instead he was incredibly understanding and very supportive and encouraging. And he, he told me, I want you to take the time you need. I think honestly, that was one of the best things that happened to us as a couple as we were growing closer together, coming out of high school and into college, um, it kind of caused our faith to wa waver as well. And so having that time apart um, to get our own walks right with God then made us stronger after that fact because we weren't putting each other at the center of our relationship. I honestly feel like our first ridiculous fight in our marriage is probably gonna be about a pet. Uh, I really want a dog. And Cody's been very supportive of that idea, uh, but he's not 
at heart a dog person, he truly is a cat person. And so I think our first big fight is going to be related to that dog in some way. So we did just close on this house. And uh, I do have a Pac-Man machine that she's not very fond of. Um, that I, I got to be put in the garage, but I don't know if it's going to make it anywhere past that. I think it, it might end up getting sold on Facebook Marketplace, so keep an eye on Facebook because Pac-Man Machine might be coming to a home near you. I think I'm just excited to stand at the altar with him. It's my favorite moment, and I've been at weddings where I didn't even know the bride and groom. I was just there, and I cried, and I just love the ceremonies. And so I think I am just thrilled that I finally am going to be the one standing at the altar with the man that I love. What I'm most excited for for the wedding is just getting to show everybody that I'm, I'm with Anna and I get to spend the rest of my life with her. I, I just have a feeling that there's going to be tears in both of our eyes, but I think we're just going to be laughing because when you've been dating for five years and you've known each other since sixth grade, the moment is just more exciting and happy than anything because I think I think it's surreal and I think it's it's thrilling and it's exciting but I think it's both it's just been a long time coming and we're just very excited to be married. Just seeing her come down the aisle is going to be um, I mean o overwhelming for me you know um, I'm just excited excited to start my life with her you know.